Okay, we are here with head coach Caitlin Moriarty and student athletes Emily Rapak and Molly Bergen with the visit victorious Barry College Vikings. Uh, they just came off a 3-0 victory over Transylvania in the NCAA uh, first round. Uh, coach, I'll start with you. You know, it was a hard fought. You know, yeah. it's three sets, but it was a hard fought one. Uh, kind of give your uh, overall thoughts on the match. Yeah. So when we saw the bracket in um, the eighth seed being Transy, we thought, wow, that that's a tough draw for the first round team that we're familiar with we played earlier in the season went to five with them and you know that's a young squad and they play their hearts out you know when you're young and you're hungry you don't really have much to lose and I think they gave us everything they could and more and so I'm really proud of our team for you know staying the course and, and rallying many times throughout the match and you know sticking to our game plan and of course good volleyball on both sides and um, didn't feel like a 3-0 victory but Obviously excited to advance to the tournament. You know, we got. I think the word that described you guys today was resilient. You know, you guys yeah. were. You, you know, you kind of fell back, fell, fell behind in every set, but you battled back each time. You know, it was kind of. I guess I could ask Molly and Emily, like, what was kind of coach stressing or like, kind of like, kind of emphasizing in the huddles each uh, each set. Um, yeah, I think you know the key to success on our team is just playing as a family um, and sticking to our game plan. I think you know when we are down a couple points, four or five points. Um, she just brings us in and says, like, go back to the game plan, look at each other, play for one another, and that's really what um, brings us up. So. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess we could talk about that second set. You know, you, uh, just like first, first and third, you know, you were down early. You know, you battled back, especially going, like, extra like that, 31-29. You know, kind of talk about that. I think that might have been, like, a turning point. You know, you go up 2-0, and it's kind of, you know, it's kinda, you're feeling pretty good going into the third. Yeah, I mean, it's a position that we've been in several times throughout the season, um, especially against good teams. And so we're comfortable being down, and I, I'm proud of them for staying composed and not panicking. And so I think, you know, when you've done it in the past before and you know you can pull out of a situation like that, you know, I don't have to burn a timeout um, and remind them of a few key things. And, and they work their way out of it. Um, and for us, you know, we do a lot of things really well physically. Um, and when we're struggling, it's, it's usually something mental. We'll talk, uh, Molly, I'll talk to you. You know, you had a pretty impressive game, 19 kills, only a couple of errors, you know, close to 400 hitting percentage. You know, you and Emily really synced up today, you know, kind of talk about, you know, your play and, as well as Emily's set and her setting ability today. Yeah, I think, you know, our chemistry is just great, and that's something that we've worked at for for years now. And so I think just having trust in one another, trust in our teammates is really what we go back to. Um, like Caitlin said, um, mentality is our biggest thing. You know, physically, I think that we do a lot of great things, and, and when we get down, it's all mental, so we just got to look to one another, and um, I just tell all the girls out there that I'm playing for them, and that's how we, um, that's how we do it. So. Yeah, I agree. I mean, like Caitlin was saying, like, we're a team where I think we kind of thrive um, when we have to, like, really pull together um, and fight hard, and I think that's when, like, our family and, like, our bond comes out, and just, like, me and Molly, as far as, like, our connection, like, we just have a really good relationship off the court too and I know like whether it's like game point or like first point like if I give the ball to her like I trust that she can make a smart play with it. I guess one more thing one last thing before we go you know you, you guys are moving on you're going to play Southwestern tomorrow uh, what are some things you kind of executed well today or you want to kind of improve upon going into tomorrow's matchup? Yeah I mean we want to stay hungry we, we know we're going to get everybody's best no matter who we're playing and um, we want to focus on what we can control of course um, serve and pass is going to be huge for all teams moving forward and yeah just kind of being present in the moment and, and leaving it all on the court. All right. Thank you guys and good luck tomorrow.